the three. You've got myself, you my baby, you've got Dimmy, Dimmy Crazy Damper, and you've got Jules from Jules Mama Vex. Hello. Hello. So Dimmy, what are you using? I'm using at the moment the the Hammer of God. The I think the V four I think, the black one. I was using the Hammer of God, the purple one, but I just changed it to the black ah. one. Here the armadillo on top and here also armadillo on top with I think yeah also my coffee in it and I'm vaping the red energy slush really good one and and as pot system I'm using my Orion again with my honey rooster tobacco and a new pot system I testing for review the kilo pot system at the moment with the tobacco in it and I also have got a uh, blueberry eyes or something but <laughs> 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 and <laughs> that's it and Jules what are you using? well first of all drink wise it's just mango fizzy mango so obviously I'll probably start belching I'm not actually vaping on a lot of things but hi chat by the way and thanks Dimmy and Mark for asking me to pop on for an hour so I'm a girl with a mech, yes. The Oculus I've got here, I do enjoy that. And in that, I have got Kinky Vapors, Tingly Lemon Sherbet, and Sparkly Strawberries. I've got a couple of um, other pods. I've got the Caliburn here, and that has got Wild Berries pod salts in. This one's the Vipe, and it's just got the one it comes with, um, Cherry in. I have got, now, old school here. Everyone who probably will recognise this. The ice stick 30 watt. Oh, very old whoa. school. Very old school because I've got the slide on it. And um, obviously, it's mapped along. And I thought, do you know what? Get it out of retirement. So I've got that. And in that, I have got EVC's Dead Man's Arm, which is absolutely delicious. I don't know. I, <laughs> it's <laughs> absolutely gorgeous, that is. I've also got the carbon top side. And I've got the recurve jewel with a finger mark on it. <laughs> there and I've got in that one EVC's Enigma it's his new range again that is lovely I've got another one out of retirement so <laughs> another oldie but you can all remember this one the SL class I know it's oh, that not as old nice. as my other one but it's out of retirement I've got the bulk on top of that <laughs> and I've got Humble Juicer's Sweeter Puppets in there and now we're coming down to my last two, which you'll be happy to know. Another pod. And this is the Smoan, and I, I want to call it Pisato. Pisito. I always want to go Pisato. Pisito. <laughs> really and in nice that, one. I have got Summer Syrup Pod Salts. This is to die for, by the way. That, uh, that is an orgasmic pod salt. And lastly, I have got my IPV Mini Squonker. And in that, I've got Mango Ice. And that is me. I'm so boring. That is me. So what are you on, Mark? And, and you're saying you're not vaping a lot? No, I'm not. <laughs> it didn't I've stop. A, I've left quite a few in the lounge. Because I'm testing some, so I've left quite a few in the lounge. I forgot also the fa the pasito. I'm also vaping the pasito with the uh, rebuildable the coil in it. Yes, yeah. that's right. Re really nice. It is, yeah. isn't it? The flavor is yeah. quite good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, can I see what I'm using? Yeah. No. Now it's your, now it's your <laughs> turn. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm drinking some Sunny D tonight. Yeah. Because it's that hot. Right, I'm using the Rinko 228 watt mod with 3 Max Mesh Pro on top. Yeah. I've got my top side jewel. I'm so jealous about that. With <laughs> The as modest point blank on top. Oh, that's got my frozen pond in it. This has got juicier melon and berry melody. See that? Yeah, we've got that from the expo. <laughs> nice, nice range of yeah, juice that they so. are. Yeah, that's from the expo. We had to. 
fill in a, a, a form for that. <laughs> I remember. And I'm also using the Hutch Cigar with Old Wolf with the bulk on top. Oh, bulk! Matchy Matchy Twins! And that my, is it. My bulk. See, that's <laughs> a small amount of stuff. Three items. Your, okay. He's using <laughs> my bulk, Joe. Hi, Sainty. It's nice to see you. And people are saying hello to me in chat. So, yeah. hi, guys in chat. You know how much I love you all much, Lee. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. what, that was it, Mark. Then I'm going to call out the people in my chat now. Hi, Chunk, on, hi Chunk Master. <laughs> nice to be in my chat again. Um, hi, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin always there. He's my my loyal follower. He's always there. He sends me. A oh, message that's what's in my boat. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you finished. No, no, no sorry. <laughs> <Thanks for punishment. laughs> that's what's uh, in my boat. You know what happens when I get invited onto your show? Though I take over, yeah. don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Demi, you want All to continue? Right. Yeah. I want to thank Kevin again for all the support he gives me. He's here in my chat again. He's really, he's, he's there every day, sends me a message every day, supports me every day. Thanks, Kevin. Christoph is also there, also always here. Um, we've got my Nightbot. <laughs> um, we've got Steven, always in my chat. We've got Steph. We've got Rinaldo. He's got nice Dutch reviews also, and that's it in my chat for the moment. Kitty Bobs! In my chat at the moment, we have got Jules, uh, Pee Wee, We've got John Best, who's always here unless he's working, um, Maxter. Yeah. I'm going to get this one wrong. Seeing. There's another one I want to say. Saint Conti McFuckoff. There you go. Right. <laughs> and we've got Kiwi Box. Hi, everyone. Are there any questions Nuts. already? Uh, I've not seen none. No. Oh, my nightbot no. is working fine. <laughs> uh, mine doesn't. <laughs> so guys, what you been up to then? Tell me. Hi Pod! TVP Girl! What am I Sorry. on? Yeah. <laughs> so what you been up to guys? I know it's your show, but you've got to be quiet. So tell me what you've been doing this week. I'll just, um, I'll host for an hour. What have you been up to guys? <laughs> you tell me. Uh, I will start. My, I've got a very... Pretty quiet week. A pretty quiet week, and I'm gonna have a pretty quiet month because I'm not going to work next month. I'm going to stay home to get back into uh, get find myself again. Let's say it like that. And what did I do? I, I recorded the armadillo um, presentation and my presentation in English, and I posted that on my uh, channel. That's and right, you did. I remember that. Yeah. I seen, got the notification. Yeah, and Mr. Coily um, 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 shared it on, Simon. on his, yeah Simon shared it on his page and on his Twitter. Thanks for that, Simon. Uh. If you're coming in, and I've what am I doing? And that's it. I think I've got some veil, vape mail from Nasty Juice. That's why I'm not wearing my hat this time. I'm wearing a cap from Nasty. It was a really big uh, a really big vape mail with a lot of juice so th those uh, reviews are coming and there is something else coming from Kingston it's on its way something from Keys is on its way but everything is on the way so I've got the only vape mail is the uh, the nasty juices I will take them later in the show and for the rest I'm not doing a lot at the moment but um, from the beginning of next week I'm going to start um, recording some more reviews again and hope I'm going to get in, I'm going to start with everything again because I've been a little bit quiet lately I've got some yeah, I've got some hard times but tell you later okay and your computer <laughs> seems to be working much better this time yeah. And I've got, I've, my, I've got my computer on cable now. I have uh, I've uh, put a cable from downstairs to upstairs with a switch between it, and 
now my stream is working fine so that's that's a, a big difference I'm not working with Wi-Fi anymore so in, in uh, before I had 72 KB um, speed and now I've got one gigabyte speed so it, it should be a lot better and my stream should be working the two hours now so that's all I'm doing that's but, brilliant oh and I had my I had my sons uh, for two weeks with me so oh, they, right. yeah they're, normally they, they, they live with their with their mom but they were with me for two weeks is it because it's a school holidays at the moment yeah. here I mean Belgium yeah. so yeah yeah two months uh, holiday so they were with me for two uh, two weeks and today I brought them to my mother and they're gonna stay there for three days and then they go back to their mother so, oh good so it was it was a nice two weeks especially the, the first week we did <laughs> every day we went somewhere and we went swimming we went uh, to to the amusement park and we went uh, for some nature walks and every day we did something and the second week mm -hmm. the boys just played games on PlayStation all week <laughs> and I did my thing so that's all that's what I did brilliant well that sounds all like you've had lots and lots of fun anyway yeah. you had a busy two weeks what about you Mark not been much um, working mainly and doing some reviews, some waves, that's about it. Oh, right. That's not, that, that <laughs> was fast. <laughs> so yeah. you, you know, you've not, yeah. like, done anything else. Did you have any vape mail? I've had vape mail, I've got in the... Uh, oh, it's back the door, so I'm, a new topside jewel. Oh, right, yeah, I like that one. I'm, my, I, the two topside jewels, the other ones I've got are the just plain one, not the splattery one, like yourself. That's, they're really quite nice. This one that I'm using I'm has got a dodgy screen. I'm so yes. jealous There's wines missing on it and there's more and more wines every day. And you're going to find that because I found with my original top size, not the sing, not the um, original first one, the single, but both my jewels, not including my carbon, they have become problematic over time. And one of them, within days of getting it, so you might have that. So carry on anyway. So what else have you got? Uh, well, this one came with a couple of wines missing on it. Right. So I contacted Dovepo and they sent another one so I could get the review done. Uh huh. Yeah. So which is pretty good, you know. I'm yeah, it is. I'm it really is. That's very good. I'm really jealous about I think about they're about the only company that would actually do that. Because I've still got a. Yeah, that's true. With a, a tri with a trigger from the a customer, they also did it. Oh, you've got the fu I call it the Fukai or Fukai. Yeah, but. Oh, oh that's a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so going to be looking at getting um, a review out for Dove Poe, obviously. So what else? Next week will be the Hive. Oh, I've got that. The 40 millimeter Hive. I've got this little thing. So I've got oh. this giving me an expo to review. Oh, I've got no. I've got it's a lovely little thing as well. And um, that's my last X that they're wanting it posted. Mm -hmm. That's stupid thing with us. <laughs> with aye, aye. <laughs> yeah. Your little wrist um, strap. Yeah, you kind of go on your wrist. <laughs> what if I could? Because I've got small hands and a small wrist. Um, no. I it wouldn't want it on my wrist though. Very oh small. My, oh my god, that is a bit <laughs> wank, isn't it? That is tiny. I don't even think it would fit a bairn's hand. That's how wee it is. Aye. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I've, got I've still got that to go up. Uh, what else is done? I've already, I've already done my wrinkle review. That's to go up. You already recorded it? Yes. You're lucky. <laughs> Mine is dead. Um, <laughs> so I've got plenty to get posted. Aye. And I'm only posting one a week at the moment. Right, because are you working a lot more hours again? I'm back up to five days a week. Right, that'll that'll be wide, isn't it? Obviously, because <laughs> when you're working that much, it's going to be a bit difficult, isn't it, to get them all out? But one a week's quite nice because you're still giving something to your yeah. subscribers and they're enjoying it. Well, they get one review, they get one my live, and they get this show. Uh, now my husband has said that that little wrist bracelet's a cock ring, <laughs> 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 and Gailey says it's pitchy fucking plastic. Put it away. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> she doesn't like that, you know. She doesn't like pishy plastic. <laughs> like I said, Ronaldo, if your uh, if your connection isn't good, it's your it's it's on your side because I'm watching my show live on my con and the connection is perfect. So it's it got to be something with your internet. Because uh, uh, Rinaldo says in my chats that uh, the connection from my uh, from my stream isn't good, but tell him to get over here then. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but the connection is. Good. Tell him to come over to mine. No, no, no. get over here. It's, mine is good. It's it's working fine for for once. It's working fine. <laughs> it's not going under four thousand eight hundred kb, so it's working really fine for once. So stay here. Hello, Belinda. <laughs> Hi. Mm. Oh, got to. I give me greetings to Belgium, Peewee. Hi, Peewee. Uh, why isn't he going down? Oh, okay, I'm back. Okay, I've got yeah, a lot of waiting for review. Too much. So I'm be I'm being uh, neglecting something actually. So I think I've got 20 things waiting to review. So you're going to be a busy man yeah I, and i'm not have to work for a month so i've got time. oh you've got plenty of time yeah. then to get them reviews in I'm plenty gonna, of time I'm, yeah that's true i'm gonna get some work i'm gonna have some a lot of work just hello ronaldo <laughs> <laughs> if you look at my shelf just there i've only yeah. got two boxes and one's for this subway thing and another one's for this tank right that's a massive tank, by the way, isn't it? How much juice? 15 mil. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. wash your day. That is a lot. Yeah, and it gets a lot of flavour. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good one. The only thing that's wrong with it is the air hole on the deck is a bit big, and you need a coil to cover it fully. Either that, you all get um, it weakened a bit. So you need a big ass coil. Yeah. And obviously you can get one because you've got the same coil sponsor as I am, the Kilted Devil. Mm -hmm. And he will make you a coil that is for that particular tank if you want him to. He did. Yeah, I'm going to say because he's, he's spot on. I mean, oh, I love Dan, I absolutely love him. He's brilliant. He really is a good guy. One of the best. Well, me, I'm going to tell you about me now, guys, because they've yeah. talked far too much, haven't they? I mean, come on, chat. <laughs> Don't you agree? Them two guys have spoke far too much. <laughs> so today I did, I, I've already put it out, <laughs> the Usoni Sig, and it's the, uh, the bloody zip. I did that today because on a Sunday I do my Stop Smoking Sundays. So it's about starter kits and pod kits, you know, things that will help people get off the cigarettes. So I did this one today, it's all packed away back in there. So that's been done today. Wreck the place! Um, <laughs> I did this one, as everyone knows, if, if, you, if you are a subscriber you'll know, I did this one a couple of weeks ago. The IPV um, squ Auto Squonker. I love that, that's really good. This one isn't for this week, it'll be next week, because I like things to be used for quite a lot. I've already done the bulk. I do need to do the carbon top side because I've been using that since the day I got it when I was at Expo, if everyone remembers. I set it up there and then at Expo. And I've been using that since May and I do really need to get the review done for that. I've got the slide. That review has got to come out. I'm really enjoying that. My and my husband keep fighting over it. And the Oculus, that is one that's definitely being done this week. That'll be get that one. I'll, I'll crack on. Chung, whip, whip, whip and get that review done and then I've got tons more because I've got juicers and I've got more hardware in my drawer in my drawers oh my and I've got a juicy drawer if everyone wants to ever come round in I'm sniffing my drawers I've got a juicy drawer it smells delicious <laughs> but I've also got plenty of hardware to get done I've got these two drawers and I've got these things over this side to still finish um, so I've got that which I've been using again since I got that at Expo. Oh, I've got the Ultrona up there. I need to get that one done. I've got quite a lot on the go. So I'm going to be busy, I think, for the next few weeks. And I've not even mentioned that. I've got the Nord. I've got quite a lot of pods. But they're for Sundays now. So obviously I'm doing my Stop Smoking Sundays. Nice. And so I'm still doing all that. I'm obviously still looking after mother-in-law and looking after the kids and, you know, normal stuff, really. And I've been ill. But I'm fine now. <laughs> if I'm going to throw it, Belinda, I'll just throw it your way. It depends where you are. <laughs> I just drop things, that's all. Most of it hasn't fell, actually. It's just 
hit the desk look. It's just the, it's the rudder box and the bulk box because they're things I've done. These are just, you know, just boxes. So I put them all over there. As I do things, I move them from there to there. Then I put them away and I start a new pile over there. It's, it's the way I do things. It drives my husband mad. <laughs> He's always tidying up the desk because I'm always cluttering it up. But I will show you something my husband made, right? Not just to take over the show, but because I'm only on for an hour. Yeah. I try to get everything here. Uh, now this way is quite... It's quite, 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 quite heavy. As most people know, my husband's Dilly Gaff at his stands. I and know. he makes these at, at his stands. And this, this is a new one that he made for me. I've got Look that. At that. It's a Harry Potter one. Yes, that's it. Yeah. And it, with Guardian Leviosa, it's got all Harry Potter things on. Mm. These are all made custom, the one-offs. Oh, mine's a bit full at the moment, so I've been putting bits and bobs on it. But so I don't know who it's meant to be, too. Sure. Well, no, I should really clean it and put the, some of the stuff away that I'm not using. But I've been just taking them off and plonking them on here. But yeah, so, yeah. So that's what my my hubby makes these. And I love that one. It's really so, nice. yes. Put it back very carefully. I've got a closet now. I've got a, so all my stuff in the closet too that I have to review. All is uh, cleaned up now. Before it was all spread, uh, spreading around. Now everything is here back, at, back in the back. Uh -huh. but should I start saying what I'm going to review? Oh yeah, why Wait. not? Let, let, let's get it all yeah. out there, guys. Put it out there. Do you have an, do you have an hour? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could probably whisper through it as quick as I did. Yeah. Right. I'll be the quickest. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is uh, the Essex Mini, the X Class. I really need to do it before August, so it's really. Can you just press that for me and let me hear it? If it if it's still noisy. It's really noisy. Go on, press it. Yeah, if he wants to start up. Sometimes he he has trouble starting up. Wait a sec. <laughs> or the batteries are down. Yeah. Give me a minute. It, it won't start up. Give me a minute. Okay, that's yeah. all right. <laughs> uh, one thing I've got still the the, the vigor to do. Uh, mm -hmm. The squonker. I've got still to do the Asmodus. Um, how it's called again, Mark? <laughs> I'm always forgetting. The dog. 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 Yeah, that one. The dog. <laughs> I've got the Tengu to do. I've got still to do the SP, the FP RTA, but I still can't wick it right, so as long <gasps> as I can't wick it right. You can't wick the FP? Yeah. Right, go go and watch my review on it. See me build, see how you wick it. I've, I've wicked it every time, never a problem. No, every time with me. Or it's leaking or I'm, I'm pulling it dry, so. Really? I've never had a problem with it. Watch my review. I, I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's I've, it's tank. I've got the hey, I, I did it, I built it, I did it, and it was fine. Oh, you've got that to do as well. Um, I've got the, one of those. Yeah, the Ardent still. Yeah, got I've got an Ardent somewhere to do. The Caliburn still to, got <gasps> to do oh. that. You'll love that. The Caliburn. I love. The, I love the Caliburn. It gives a mm. really nice flavour. Great I've got flavour. The, the NATO Aslam Mutt. A really nice mech. A really nice one, I think. I'm gonna take it out because it's this one with with the ball as a Ooh. push button. Really nice. Really one. looks nice, yeah. For the ladies with a uh, with uh, large nails, yeah. Talons. Really easy for them. And I've got uh, the, the gear RTA still to do. Okay, yeah. The, the little gear. That's and a good one as well. Yeah, but it's a little bit too small for me. Oh, it's Diddy. Uh, the Luxatic from uh, Wismic, but I didn't use it. Oh yeah, I've done that. It's a, that's actually quite good. I didn't use it yet, so still need to try it. I don't know if mine is. It's probably from the shelf now. Um, wait. I've got two more things. I've got the uh, Essex Mini RDA, the Divine RDA. Still need to test that one. Mm -hmm. I've got a simple X Quonkit from Vandy Vape, but got a problem with it. It doesn't uh. work. 
<laughs> Belinda, yes it is. It's quite a tight-ish draw and you can call me Mama. Everyone calls me Mama. <laughs> and I've got a very special one. I don't know if you know it. The Amiri Tank T2. Oh, yeah. That's a really, yeah, to go hiking. <laughs> you can't break that one. And I've got a lot of juices. I'm not going to show all the juices because... Oh God, no, there's loads of juice, we've got them the same. Um, yeah, same for me. The okay. kilo pot system, um, is there something? I've, got, uh, I've still got the Kylan M. Mm, the Kylan M RTA to do. Oh. I've still got that. I'm looking around, there has to I've be got more. things everywhere. Absolutely yeah. everywhere. Yeah, I can't find anything else at the moment, but there's more, but I can't find it. <laughs> You're as bad as me, Jimmy. You've got things everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Belinda, do you like pods? Is that something that you really enjoy then, a pod with a tight draw? So that'd be nice to know, because if you do, and if it's a pod, or if, you want, if you're more into tanks, mountain or tanks, there's a the slide. That's got a nice tight draw. Try to start it up. I love a tight draw, so that one goes in on my wish list, right? Fell into pods now. My ideas and mechs keep, oh, uh, yeah, your death. Well, if you don't mind a tank, I'd go for the slide. It's a nice mouth to lung, it's nice and tight. And pods, the Nord, the, the um, I know it's a smock product, but the smock Nord is a cracking one for great flavour. Obviously, the Caliban's got great flavour too. And I'm going to call it, the, I can't even say it, this smell out one. I'm finding that's got good flavour too. And it's got an adjustment at the top there where you can close it off slightly and get a tighter to draw. Yeah, but I, I think it, it's difficult to to make it, to adjust it the right Not way. No, I, I find it very easy. I don't have nails. It's For me, it's difficult. I, it's just so easy <laughs> to just change. So you can you can have this as a loose draw or a tighter draw. So that one as well, Belinda, is I would recommend really would. So wh what about you guys? Do you have any pods that you would recommend or master long tanks you'd recommend that's got a nice tight draw? I really love my RTA, my RS RTA from Inakin. I really uh -huh. love that one. I'm I'm using it a lot. I'm really using it a lot. It's got a nice tight airflow or loose, uh, but. Every time my Essex Mini, when I pull it out of the wait, my Essex Mini has problems. <laughs> yes, my, I was going to say, I've got Wait, the. Oh, I don't say, excuse me, standing up. Well. There's this pod, but I still don't think, even with the new pods in it, although the flavours improved, I think it, the battery power is still lacking. So I'm still not one for saying to people to go out and get it. No. You've got the drug, Nano. Is it Nano? With the uh, ceramic coil, which is a mouse to on. That's actually pretty good. It's nice and small as well. Cobble and the hexa. Well, Belinda, the hexa's brilliant. And this Inican Z bit, that's good because it's what, what's it called? Uh, AOI? It's an AOI one. That's yeah. actually quite good. Mm. Mm. I don't have many pods. Oh, I look. Uh, do you know I love pods though? Me too. Um, so I've got quite a few, and I'm, I've been looking. I've been. I was given quite a few as well for the purpose of review, and they're so handy for my stop smoking Sundays. Although they're not for just people trying to get off the cigarettes. Remember, I mean, there's a lot of us who they who still enjoy a pod. You know, with your Nick salts in. I mean, I'm a big one for putting, you know, my pod salts in in my pods. No, <laughs> I use this morning and night. Before That's I go to bed and before I get up. Mm -hmm. That's the Vupu. Um, and is that a tight coil. draw? No. No. I'm using is it 0.8 ohm coil. Right. You can use the ceramic coils right. to make it tighter. I, but I don't like ceramic coils. I'm not, you know, they, nah. they just don't ring my bell. I don't like them either. Only the Vaporesso uh, C cell coils. Those are the only good ceramic coils, I think. The C cells from uh, Vaporesso. I, I sell them a lot in my shop. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know what the problem is with the Essex Mini, but sometimes it, ha it does that. It doesn't start up. Try putting the batteries on the right way, then. I did. 
and I tried a lot of different batteries. I've got a lot of uh, next to me, so I was prepared. But I don't know why it does it because it works fine. I, I use it every day. It works fine, but when I leave it on the desk, and it, it just doesn't work. Yeah. And do you know what I would have thought? Because um, they're kind of, you know, the as you know, the IPV are almost like the sister company, the cheaper version, aren't they, really, of Yihi, right? Yeah. Why didn't they get the technology that they use for this auto squonker to use in that one? Because this is so, so quiet. Yeah, this one... Oh, God, yes, my husband's right. The Vladin is popped it in chat. Belinda, the Vladin is a cracking wee pod. And if you get yes. the Vladin RE, you can fill it up yourself with your own liquid. And it is so cheap as well to buy. Yeah. So yeah. cheap. That's the, that's the problem with the Vlad and I, I had it for review, they sent it me, it's a really nice spot system and I tried to uh, get it into wholesales in Belgium but the wholesale price, the price the wholesales had to pay for it was too much really? uh, yeah, uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to the retail price, no wholesale in Belgium would take it because they couldn't make any money of it. That's a shame because it's a really good yeah. little pod and in every area obviously it is it is cheap. It's a great cheap little pod with good flavour, nice tight draw, and you can re the like I say the Vladin RE you can refill. But if you end up getting the older Vlad in the first one, the pods for the new one fit in it anyway, so you can still buy your pods. Happy days, win win. <laughs> yeah, I really loved it too, but yeah, the price was too much. Linda, more. you need to go and subscribe to me. <laughs> That's what you need to do, don't you, darling? Because I'm answering all your questions. You can subscribe to these two, but you know, women, <laughs> there's women. <laughs> so that that's it then, isn't it guys? We've done quite a bit. Look how much we've whizzed through yeah. in such a short time. Have that's you ever gone this fast in your life? <laughs> the Aspire Gusto Mini. Yeah, it's a good one, the Aspire Gusto Mini. Chunkmeister. Good. But that's a good idea, Belinda. Get your friend to send you one. <laughs> but... I've got at the Gusto Mini. I've got. I find the the pots are empty too far. They empty too fast for me. Aye. Uh, what pod socks do you use in yours anyway? In, when you're using your pods. In the in what? What do you mean? What what? Nick pod socks do you use? Uh, Nick mo socks. Most of the time I use. I, I, I'm almost always using the element, uh, the honey roasted tobacco. I right, really, what, what milligram are they? 20. Yeah, uh, mine are 20. Oh, always 20. And if, yeah. if, I, if I can now get more, the, I use the small Dragon Dream. Thank you, Belinda. Love you. Mwah. And now it's 20. That's that. Yeah, mine are 20s. You can get less, obviously. Do you know what I found, though? Because pod salts usually set me, um, or oh, so Nick salts. Every time I've used them previously, the boys have been coughing. I would start to cough, or people sneeze. You know, I, they just seem to have a reaction. This is the first time I've had one that, of a company's one that doesn't have that effect on me. So I'm not changing now. I know it sounds silly, <laughs> but now I've found one that I can actually use without choking because I can keep because I set my asthma off as well. That's what I use. Oh, you use Vape Monster ones, 20 milligrams, Belinda. Brilliant. I love the flavors as well. So I like a pod that gives good flavor. If you don't do a good flavor, it's pish. Uh, I'm meant to be getting some 50 milligram. I want some 50 milligrams. Oh, I've had the 50 milligram sticks. Um, I don't know if any of you've tried them. They that blew my head off. He's starting up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's starting up. No, Chunky. he's falling away again. Why? <laughs> it's something with the battery door. It's if you push it, it sometimes starts up. So something. Well, that's wrong. not good. No. But you'd have to put that in your review, obviously. Yeah. Because people need to know that, don't they? If I push You'll the battery door, the it works. No, no to change. But the strange thing is, I'm You're using welcome, it every Chunk. day. I'm using it every day, and now he's doing it again. If the battery door isn't pushed in, he falls away. Yeah. And what do you guys actually think about this new th this policy with Facebook? How if your your group name has got very vapes, vaping, vapor, etc. in it, they actually already started closing these groups if you, you don't change them. They have to say 18 as well if you're vaping now. Yeah. You've got to have the 18. 
what's your all that's for it's about that and you can't sell anything so um you so can't you sell stuff. stuff no you can't but you can't of, you can't have the word um you can't sale, do advertising give away delivery anything like that it's actually done on what type you can't sell things like if i wanted to put this up for sale and put my name now a lot of them you put your name your date and how much you want yeah. you cannot do that no, no. more Excellent. but as long as you don't have the word sale giveaway uh, delivery oh, you can't have waffle you can't have waffle i've got giveaway any every, of that i've got giveaway almost every week in my in my face yeah well you've got to be careful now because there are yeah. people check and they are looking for any words that you use that mean the same sort of thing yeah so I, I'm just saying, you know, what's your guys, what's your thinking on this? I mean, I seen you on Mark had put on that you're now setting up a page on. I want to say she we, but it ain't, is it? No, it's me we. On oh, me we, right? So is that because of what's going on with the Facebook thing? Because obviously, well, if I shut down my Facebook page and group, I've got somewhere set up now. But do you know? Do you know that me we are based in California? same as everywhere else Silicon Valley so don't you think that could be something that they end up coming down on them as well to vape because it's vaping mm. and America don't like vaping so we're, we're all saying let's get over there join this group and I was looking into it today and they're actually based in America in like I say where they are it's just like oh, really uh, last my last giveaways I do on vape tube yeah i mean i do mine as sales but they're on my patreon yeah. i only do now for my patreons but you know i'm thinking we're all jumping over setting up accounts over there as well just in case but at the end of the day that that ba they're based in california in america and we all know what's going on in america and that's why we're having problems with facebook at the moment because they're based in america so is the there's a possibility that can happen with that as well yeah, probably. It's, I mean, it's, it's something good. you need to, you know, people need to really think about before they, you know, think, right, I'll throw all my eggs into that basket too, because you need to have a lot of options on the go now. I mean, a lot of us are on VapeTube, aren't we, ready, just yeah. in case as well. But VapeTube is a good platform to get going. But obviously, like, everyone wants a social media site, but that one, like I say, being based where it is, it stands more chance of becoming one that's targeted next. Fake you? No. Mewe. Oh, Mewe. Oh. Yeah, Mewe or Weepy or Sheepy or I don't know. Yeah. I'd have to let me look. I'd have to look on my phone because I have signed <laughs> up for it. Don't get me wrong. I have signed up yeah, for it and I've just started doing my profile. But I'm not going to be putting my, my stuff over there or anything yet. I'm just still watching and you know feeling the water and sort of investigating them still a bit more. Investigating. Sadly. Look at me investigating but <laughs> you know but because at the end of the day it's because women being based where they are i just think it could be a worry and i don't think many people have looked into that and thought oh, wait on a minute silicon valley again yeah yeah i mean did you look into it mark no i just went to it there's ah. another one as well um is it so homes or something like no. that no the um Oh yeah, um, I know which one you mean. Some, it's not so long, because that's Mark. Um, some at home. Anyway, I'm not doing that one. No. Sheepy, that's what I thought it was. Well, Essex <laughs> Mini doesn't start up anymore. Oh no. dear. Oh dear. Before, when's that review before the, what? Before the review. <laughs> that's nice. I'm gonna send uh, them a message. Yeah. <laughs> that's. I'm <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I'm coughing a lot. Putting it on the side, he's starting up. Nah, he start loading. <laughs> yeah, he's That's not good because it's not the retail version, isn't it now? No, no, this is uh, not the retail version yet. But I yours isn't the, uh, the same one that Vic, for the original one Vic got, because the one he got, he could turn it on and everyone in England would have heard him. Yeah, but this one too. If you vape so, on it, it's so is, is that just as loud as the first original one that they gave Vic at Expo? Yeah. Because obviously he's got the other one, he's got that one now as well. Oh. No, this one is really oh, loud. That's the own page. Thank you, Belinda. It's yeah. called the own page. No, it doesn't do anything. Why? <laughs> I was using it today. You know? <laughs> but no, it, no, it shows you. I was using my top side the other day, 
and all of a sudden it went. Uh, this this is the fourth, the fifth mutt in two weeks time that dies on me. All my wrinkles died in, in one week time. All my wrinkles, the manto X, the manto S, and my mech man, all died in one week. And you see, that's scary, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to do the review. You've got to be honest and tell people yeah. about that because you don't yeah. want your subscribers buying a product because you've said to them, yeah, 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 it's good for them to have to spend money for it to go yeah. later. And the strange thing is, I, I messaged them, I asked them, I, I told them what happened, and they banned me on their Facebook. They don't mm. answer me anymore, and they banned me on their Facebook because I said about something about it, so... Well, <laughs> there you go, you've got to be honest, though, isn't yeah. it? it? You know, it's the price you pay. And I, I would rather the people ban me, and I'd be honest to the subscribers, yeah. than suck up to them and tell my subscribers a load of pish. Yeah, me too. And you know, at the end of the day, we do it to help people and to let them know what our personal thoughts are for yeah. it. That's the same thing I think. I've, I've got everything sent to me. I don't buy a lot, but I'm always honest. If something doesn't work, I tell them. Exactly. You've got to be. Whether yeah. you pay for it or not, yeah. you've got to be honest. Because once you stop being honest, you, people will find out, even if you do it once, people will find out and they'll never trust you again. Yeah, and, but sometimes it's like you use it for two weeks, you do your review, everything works fine. You say it's working fine, everything is good, and two days later it dies. So I have to do an update. Uh huh. So. I'm just reading what Pee Wee's put. Do you, you want to read it uh -huh. out, Mark? Because I will have to fill up. <laughs> um, I took over that ble your bloody show again. They have to restrict the black market on social platforms because of the ban laws in the USA. That's just the logic step they do now first. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to be something I would imagine will hit in time Pee Wee's or Mee Wee's or. Yeah. Whatever the code. No, it's all. Hello, Dawn. <coughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello, Alan. Alan. Hello. Hey, Alan. Th thanks, Christoph, for the update <laughs> for my football match. <laughs> oh, your football. No, it, it is. It's a worry. The trying yeah. to get us with everything, and it's a wee shame because at the end of the day, it's not a tobacco product as, as such. Because it's vape, and it is proven to be nine, between 95 and 97 percent healthier. You know, our medical professions have, have said this. So why in America and every, you know, these other states aren't? Why don't they listen? Because they don't want us to, people to get off the cigarettes. Because they make more money if you die in a cancer and illnesses to do with smoking. Plus they get all their tax and that from smoking, you know, from buying cigarettes. But Americans get paid by the companies, cigarette exactly. companies, yeah, and that's so why they're against it. And they and because they're, they're not getting the same money from yeah, Britain. Yeah, as exactly. They from and they got paid a lot. Yeah. I, I heard from Umi what they paid for some reviews for the Armadillo. Yeah. <laughs> I know what they paid on J, on Jay Hayes, and he fucked up all the the whole review. Yeah. Umi wasn't happy, and they paid him a lot. So. Well, that you see, that's the thing. When you pay reviewers, they, you know, at the end of the day, a reviewer's got to tell the truth. I don't agree with what Jay says because I, I actually reviewed yeah. the armadillo, and I still, I love them to bits. I mean, we we have them on the go all the time. I've got one on my single, and one's on one of the mechs. Always have them on. It's always on the go. So yeah, but I won't be using it if I didn't like it. If you, if you listen to the review, you didn't say the armadillo was bad. He said it was average and it was a normal RDA, but it just went on to me. The whole review yeah. went on to me. I messaged Which you shouldn't have done. Yeah. I, you should I, review the product, not the person. Yeah, that's. I talked about it with him, but mm, couldn't. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything more because. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, totally get it. No. But yeah, you review a product, not a person, and you be honest. And it's that's a shame because. But, but it happened to Mark, if you remember TVP. He didn't get the sales in the FP in America because a certain reviewer who you just mentioned yeah. dissed it. Yeah. Ooh, I think it's going to rain again. It's gone very grey. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi, <laughs> look. Well, you've got four minutes with me now, guys, so I'll let you have your show back. <laughs> 
Sat on here already. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't like, feel like it. I, it well, it, I tell you, I mean, it's never boring when I'm on your show, is it? Because I just go on and on and on. <laughs> no, no, that's good. <laughs> You never know what to say. And, I have so. no, and I've got nothing to talk about. That's the strange thing. I've got <laughs> nothing at all. When when you asked me to come on, I thought, oh, yeah, I'll shoot the shit. We have got nothing to talk about, which I haven't. And all I've done is just talk total rubbish, really. But that's a good thing, because <laughs> when we do the show on, with the two of us, we never know what to talk about, and everything falls still. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but there's so much you could talk about. There really is, even if it's about certain products. That you can chat about what's come out yeah. and liven it up that way, you know. And like I said, I just brought in because of this, all this stuff going on on Facebook at the moment. So I thought, oh, I'll just throw that at you because you know it's it's, on, it's something that's fresh <laughs> going on at the moment, right at this moment. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, but it's I mean, because obviously um, now apparently also there's another thing. Reviewers will. Be, we may still get away with it if we are reviewers and it's our review our Facebook page for our reviewing, not a group. It's not a group page, but it's our page, if you know what I mean. Because the classes as promoters, we're not promoters or anything like that, but because the classes as that sort of thing, at the moment you still yeah, but you still gotta be careful with the name, vape vapes, vapor, vaping, or anything to do with that in your title. Luckily, I've only got two like that. Jules Mama Vapes, which is my person, my page for my um, for me, is Jules Mama Vapes, a reviewer. Yeah. If the clothes out, the clothes. It's not much I can do about it. Um, and the other one is called Sweet Oh Mala Mama, which is me, because that's my show, my live show, isn't it? Yeah. Which hasn't got the name vaping or anything, so I haven't had to worry to change that one. My, I'm lucky. I do Gayla. I, I, I call damper. <laughs> they don't know what damper is in Facebook. <laughs> well, there you go. So you, you'll be all right. Yeah, Give me crazy damper. Yeah, it's the same as vapor, but I call myself damper. <laughs> yeah, and I think you aren't you just eat my baby reviews. You're not, or you eat my baby uh -huh. vape reviews. I turn the vape so you see, yeah, and you put eighteen on, aren't you now as well? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, silly. But if they cause it, then they cause it, then. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see what we do. We start another Should one. Let talk? If they close it down, we start another one. It's the same with uh, my first page. I had a I had a Facebook page, and I've got a letter from the government from Belgium that they were were going to fine me for forty thousand euros if I oh, didn't wow. if I didn't stop doing reviews because in Belgium it's forbidden to do reviews. Of oh, course, it's against the law, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the law. It's forbidden to do reviews because you're promoting vaping, and that's forbidden in Belgium. So they sent me the letters to close down the page. I kept the page, but I didn't put anything from reviews on it anymore, just articles from from newspapers and everything, and um, some um, thoughts from people, what the, uh, what they, how they started vaping and everything. That's all, the only thing I put on the page, and I started my other group where I post my videos, mm -hmm. and, and it's a closed one, and since I did that, they didn't Good. bother me anymore, so. I will see. Brilliant. Well, guys, it is that time for me to go. So what I'll be doing is saying bye to everyone. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, chat, for being great. I love you all much. Thing. And Mark, Jimmy, I'll let you have your show back now, and you can get back to being <laughs> yourselves and not being took over by the crazy lady. <laughs> but I, but I, love, I love the crazy lady, so it's no problem. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you soon. Love yeah. you loads. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Uh, Jules is gone. Yeah, Jules is gone. I'm going to have to fix my screens. My screen is fixed already. Yeah, and that's my screen effects now. Yeah, mine too. <coughs> All right, now what are we gonna talk about now? <laughs> well, yeah. going. This week I had to refuse a review request. Yeah, what? What did you refuse? No, I didn't review nothing. They wanted me to review. Yeah. And I had to decline it. Why? It was for a seven-button mouse. A seven button mouse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, this. I, I've got, wait, no. <laughs> I've got a. I've got a request for batteries. Two weeks ago, 
and they were going to send me but I didn't hear anything any, anymore from them so I've got to message them again and yesterday I've got uh, a question they're gonna send me um, for herb for uh, um, herb devices for um, how you call it how do you say it in English it's herbs herbs yeah uh, they're gonna send me devices to review for herbs. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't do them. Mm. Um, batteries I wouldn't review because I don't have none to test them yeah. properly. As in the correct amount of milliamp hours it's in it, the maximum ampage that you can pull felt or anything like that. So I wouldn't do a review for a battery. No, I, I told them I would I would use them in reviews and I would put them in my box for review, but I can't review them and I can't test them. That's maybe yeah. why they didn't send it yet. But probably why. Yeah, but for the herbs, I don't know how what I'm going to do with that. They, they they're <laughs> on the way, so they they send it them today. So oh, so I'm I'm not I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> what kind of herbs I'm going to use in it? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, I thought small condoms would have been your size. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, my parcel's still sitting at low. Bye, Christoph. Christoph is gone. <laughs> Alright, bye. Um, yeah, my parcel's still sitting at low. That's over a fortnight now. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got a mod sitting there. My top side dual carbon, I don't know if I'll get that for fast it because they've now discontinued it. Yeah. So I'll put a ticket in to see if they're actually going to ship it or not, or if I'm going to get my money back. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> so I can order it from over here so I get it quicker. Yeah, to give me something to review. That's a thing I never because order something online. <laughs> as I said, the only thing I've got to review is this in the bulk. But I can't mind what I've done with the box for it. Yeah, the bulk, what a wonder you've got that one. <laughs> yeah, is that actually the box here? Yeah. It is, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the hive. Oh, no, that's out before that. The bulk mm. review's out before the hive review because I was given the bulk where I purchased the hive. <laughs> Normally, I was going to review the Essex X Class one of these days but he doesn't start up anymore today <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do with that one <laughs> bin it it's the best place for it uh, bin it nah nah he's going in the collection then but it doesn't work but I'm gonna send uh, Queenie a message because uh, I really like the mud <laughs> um, yeah. it hurts that it's that it's uh, it really hurts but I don't know why, because today, the whole day it was working, and now it doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, chunk, um, shipping from China at the moment is just terrible, especially if you use the uh, United Kingdom e-packet. Mm. Um, it seems to go with that lull, wherever that is, whether it Lakeside or something. Mm. I think that's where it is, and it just sits there for God knows how long. There's a there's a message pulled in from uh, John. Uh, what what were you saying, John? <laughs> He's deleted it. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> uh, I, I know I said my nightbot's still not working. No, mine is. Mine uh, isn't. Strangely. Huh. Uh, some reason. I'm so sad my SX Mini doesn't work. I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> really, I really want to cry. Oh, I'm gonna use this one then. I'm gonna use the Viger. Wet. Is he wet? Uh, the ones the other come from Shoehorn. Oh, looks wet enough. All right. Right. So since Jules is away, we need topics to talk about. Yeah. Um, People start asking questions. <laughs> anything at all. You name it, and we'll try and talk about it. 
I'm right back. Wait a sec. Near away? No, uh, for a second. Right back. Shotgun. Nah. Yeah, I think I've only actually ordered one thing for Gear Vest, and that was the Battle Star, Smart Battle Star. That was the only thing I've ever ordered from Gear Vest. It's always fast track, but they're just taking forever to ship, or to get to me once they ship. Um, so I'm going to try 3F Vape, is it? Is it 3F Vape? Mm, that's a waiting page. Da, da, da. Yeah, 3F8. I'll try them and see what they're like. Yeah, I'm back. Didn't even notice that you were gone. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not much. Um, no, I'm going to stop using fast tech altogether. Mm. Either that or I'm needing to pick a different shipping method. Uh, I can't talk about anything but ordering online because I never do it. That's because you're a cheapskate. Yep. No, I've got too much and my wife kills me if I buy something. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I order for China, because I'm a cheapskate. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, the dual side carbon was worked out about £102. The cheapest over here that I've seen it is £136, £37. So it's like a 30, 30 odd pound saving. Mm, it's not bad. But now, I don't know if fast tech is going to ship it or not. That's a shame. <laughs> a, a yeah. Lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of countries doesn't ship anymore to Belgium because it's forbidden to order online in Belgium and a lot of countries don't ship or if they ship it's always a risk that they, the customs will take it. So. But at the moment customs isn't working really hard so they're, they're all um, picking on the wholesales and on the shops at the moment and leaving all the online ordering be <laughs> what it is so it's not good for the shops at the moment we can't sell anything everything is on the red lists a, a, a few only there are only two uh, RDAs on the on the green list in Belgium at the moment so and that's the old peerless RDA and the dot and, and a dot mod RDA that's the only two RDAs you can sell in Belgium. Oh, that's shocking, right? Yeah, even my armadillo. Oh, Umir paid for the armadillo to, to, uh, to so, so they could sell it in Belgium and still isn't on the green list, so it's forbidden to sell it in Belgium, my, oh. own, my own RDA. <laughs> Alan's got a good point. Why don't you call it steaming? Steaming? Yes. Raping. Vaping. So they call it vaping, yeah. called steaming. Yeah, maybe. Because technically that's all it is. Yeah. You're just boiling the juice. Yeah, actually. Yeah, maybe that's the thing. <coughs> <coughs> uh, uh, your night butt starts working. Yeah, no, I yeah. <laughs> Only a new and ten minutes late. Yeah. I'm wondering why they all picking so uh, so much on vaping, because you can buy cigarettes everywhere, but they're all picking on vaping, and it's proven that vaping is better than. Uh, but that's so. what we were talking about earlier on. Yeah. In America, the each continent or part of it gets yeah. so much money from the tobacco companies for them selling tobacco. Yeah. If they had to allow the vape and to take over tobacco, tobacco companies aren't going to pay them as much money which they've already guaranteed um, money that they're coming in for the next five year or whatever yeah. so they can't allow vaping to take over yet. Mm, Alright, 
Yeah, because it, it's strange because I went to the British American Tobacco Factory, and ninety percent of the budget of the uh, the that they're investigating on is going to vaping now. Ninety percent of the budget on on in, on uh, research is going to vaping, and not anymore to tobacco, because they know they can't change anything to on tobacco to make it more healthy. So they 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 start investigating everything for vaping now. So it's strange. Yeah, because it's like over here we've got some tobacco companies are brought out pod kits. Yeah, British American Tobacco, the vibe and everything. Yes. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. It looks like it's a good thing that they're doing it, but I think it's it's dangerous too because it 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 it's uh, it, it's 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 clear that when you're trying to um, work against them, if you work against the tobacco, it's strange. In Belgium, every um, company that um, bans the the vibe and everything they they've got a lot of uh, um, visits from FOD and they've got um, they've got how this home oh, I can't find the word they've got um, contr they, they control the, the, the companies a lot and the companies that uh, working with vibe and with the tobacco companies they don't get any um, control from a uh, government so I think if you work against the tobacco companies they will put you they will um, put you down because they have the money to put them down and the vaping companies doesn't have the money to fight back so yeah course, near enough every government gets money from the tobacco companies uh, through either gifts or well, another ways lobbying yeah big <coughs> lobby <coughs> Where yeah, the vape companies aren't doing that. Yeah, they don't have the money for it. Give it time, and I think over here, um, we'll start paying more tax on vape products. It's already happening in Holland and everything. In Holland, yeah. they can only buy uh, 10 mils, and they're gonna put taxes on the little bottles. So, and in Belgium, it's the same with uh, CBD. <coughs> We, we, in the beginning, we can sell CBD, and uh, the margin on CBD was pretty pretty good. Almost 40% margin you got on CBD set for the shops. But now they are uh, gonna put taxes on them. And from if you buy three grams of CBD, you, you had around a 10 euro of margin for the shops. Now with the tax, it's almost two two euro or three euro max. So the margin is really small now for CBD, and all the rest goes to taxes for the government. So yeah, but see over here, any tax that's put on it will be, be transferred straight to the consumer. Ah. So the shops are still getting there, roughly the same amount of profit. No, that's a problem in Belgium. Shops <coughs> don't, and all the, the CBD shops that only sell CBD are still are all going uh, all uh, going broke. Uh, like. Uh, yeah, causing broke. shots yeah, and everything because yeah. they can't afford it. Yeah, the, the margin is too too little now. Yeah, DJ, where you got that, where you got the armadillo from? DJ says he already has him. I know some some shops are selling the armadillo in Belgium, and I know from Holland they sell it, but actually it's you, you can't sell it openly. <laughs> yeah. Under the counter jobs. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Out the back door. Yep. So, I need more nicotine. Change to your pod. I'm doing that. <laughs> and the kilo, it's it's a really tight draw, but it doesn't give me enough throat hit. Ah. You need more neck. Yeah, but 20 is the max, so <laughs> we, can't, we can't buy any more than 20. <laughs> yeah, well, as I said earlier, I'm getting some uh, pods that are pre filled with 50 in it. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to 
react. Yeah, DJ. I'll probably have a vape there and I'll start coughing my guts up. <laughs> I've got some. I've got two bottles of fifty mil, uh, fifty mil um, uh, with fifty. Uh, oh my God, fifty nic nic in, in it, and I really love it. I really love it. And when you start vaping it, the first time it's you start coughing, but if you vape a little a, 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 a day from it, it's really good. So I really like the fifty mil, uh, fifty milligrams of nic. So. I really wanted to go higher, but the problem is in America, like the Jewel, they got 65 uh, nick in it, and uh, kids in school start vaping it just to get high, and that's a big problem with it. If you start vaping 65 nick, and you take 10, 15 uh, pulls uh, um, uh, after each other, you start getting lightheaded, and that's the thing why they start banning it. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some 72 milligram net. 72? Yeah. Yeah, just in for uh, just uh, for mixing. To mixing, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fake that uh, straight. <laughs> um, you probably could. I wouldn't like, but you probably could. Yeah, but it, it can't be good. <laughs> nah. Tree, one tree, that's good. One tree. My team is doing good. <laughs> No, it's against you. No, I don't think so. Is Antwerp winning, Kevin? Is it a home match or is it out? I don't know. I, don't, I didn't follow <laughs> it yet. <laughs> You're getting beat 3 to A3-1. Uh, but in, before he said open Antwerp, so normally... Yeah, it is, it's in your, we're winning. We're winning 3-1. That's good. Mm, yeah. So, I was going to ask you something, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I'm going to take another portal. Ah, oh, my eyes is all gone. Another port? Another port. Ah. Uh. It's too warm here to drink alcohol. It's not warm anymore. The, the temperature f uh, went down in Belgium. It's, it's raining all day. It went from 40 degrees to 20. So... It's better now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and here it was just stoning it down, floods everywhere in the morning, mm. and it was still 18 degrees. Uh, That's usually our hottest for the summer, without rain. Okay. <laughs> in, in Belgium two days ago it was 40 degrees in the day, and 32 in, in, at night. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was hot. Wait, so. for the last three weeks. Yeah. I've had to put fans on and everything. Yeah. Last night I was doing my reviews and I'd switch a fan off for when I was recording. <laughs> I'd done the table stuff without a shirt on. Yeah. When I come to doing the camera, I had the shirt on and you actually seen a watermark just there. <laughs> right there. We <with> sweat. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> And I've that was only after about five minutes of hanging the t-shirt on. I've got a fan on in the back here. I mean, I've got mine on here. Yeah, me too. Without it, oh. it's too hot up here in summer. I've got the window open as well. Me too. <laughs> but it's pretty <laughs> quiet outside at the moment. So yesterday, yeah. yesterday it was a house party on uh, on the corner here outside till three o'clock in the morning. I'm not too bad here because this is the back of the house. Oh, yeah. So the road that goes down is a dead end road. It takes you to the back of the shops oh, no, or the back of the shop. Oh. Um, if I'm at the front room, that's on the main road. So it would be traffic buzzing past all the time. Oh, I mean, I'm on the main road here in, in the middle of the centre of town. And at the, at the corner, there's a, a, a square here. And there, there, there in the, in summer there's Friday, Saturday, there's uh, parties outside. So yesterday <laughs> it was a party, a house party, with a lot of noise, with a lot of bass, till three o'clock in the morning. So, and I had to work this morning, so it hurts. <laughs> uh huh. 
I'm saying about getting a ceiling fan for in here as well. Mm. But then, if I put it in, where it is, I'll probably hit it <laughs> with my camera stand, okay, my tripod. Because yeah. it's at the moment it's sitting over there. But when I'm doing my up close stuff, it goes at the back of me. Yeah. And to move it, I have to put obviously put it over the desk, and that's where the light is. <laughs> well, my, my ceiling is pretty high so that's not a problem but at the moment if I want to do any reviews oh I really have to clean up again my desk is full of shit really full of it yeah so is mine I'm gonna have to do something uh, um, I'm saying I'll be doing auctions of all the stuff that's on the top shelf that you can't actually see at the moment for some reason <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. You're, clo you're closed up. Now I'm yeah, but there. Now, but now you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm trying to run. I'm looking. What am I going to fade? I'm gonna take something new from the new salts from Nasty. Trap green strawberry. Nah. Oh, I've got so many juices sent to me this week. I've got loads of juices. I've got this to try. Yeah, that's from Matt, man. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> and what else did you send me? Oh, you sent me a black currant and mint. Yeah, I always send two two juices with everything I send to people with every giveaway, and I send something. Always send two juices with it. But that juice here is one that you got from Expo. Could be. <laughs> Because be. I've got this one. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I've got a bag in behind me with all ju with all juices I don't use, and every time I send something out from giveaway, I go in the back without seeing. I take two juices out and I send it on. So I never know what I'm sending. I'm just taking it. Yeah, but the worst thing about this one is it's a concentrate. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Acid grape. No, I don't want acid grape. Suggested concentration, 10%. It says on the label. Oh, yeah, I didn't. With the labels. <laughs> I, did, I, I, I didn't look at. Oh, this one I'm going to vape. Yeah. This is what I'm going to vape. I've got a new pot ready. Where is my new pot ready? So I've got quite a few sitting here to try still. Mm, me too. Mm. I've also got a box that you sent me as well. Box. Uh, I, didn't, I don't know what I sent you with anymore. Last the time, nasty. last time I sent it a giveaway. Oh yeah, that one from Nasty. Yeah, I've got the new yeah, one. Yeah. I've got it. I've got it again now. They sent it. To me, <laughs> they sent it me again. So last last week I sent it a, a giveaway to the wrong person. <laughs> How did you manage that? Yeah, I, I got. Yeah, I, I had to send two giveaways, and I put it both in one box and send it to one to Christoph from in the chat. <laughs> and uh. and I, I I wanted to send it out to the other one, send it out, and I couldn't find it anymore. It was the OBS cube, and I couldn't find it anymore. <laughs> so I asked on Facebook, and uh, Christoph said, "Hey, I've got it," and I already got uh, the paper to send it. I already paid to the postal to send it out to the other one. So I, I I copied it, I sent it to Christoph and I said send it to her. <laughs> 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 so he, he he went to the postal office and he sent it out to her. So yeah, sometimes. But it was a week I had to send I think seven or eight packages out and yeah, sometimes some something goes wrong. <laughs> that's shocking. Yeah, I've that's never done that yet. No, that's just me. It's not the <laughs> first it's not the first time I did that. <laughs> No. No, it's not the first time. Uh, let it soak for a minute. See, I would do auctions on this show, but yeah. there's only one problem. Yeah. If it turns out to be someone over your end, it would cost a lot for shipping. Yeah, that's true. That's a problem. It, like, like the shipping to you was. <coughs> 16 euro to ship to the to you. Yeah, that's because you're saying it via a no. uh, courier company. 
Yeah, I know. Free on the, I always send it free on normal postal because I don't know how to do it elsewhere, so <laughs> I'm not good in that. Oh, then you have a post office. Yeah, that, it was through the postal office. That was because it came as um, parcel force, oh. which is like Earth Postal Express service. Oh, it was to a true postal office in Belgium. They nah, I must have given you the dearest way to go then. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the only way you can send it. Yeah? Yeah, it's the only way you can send Great. it. Or, or, or you have to use DHL or anything. But I don't have anything in uh, the neighborhood to send it out with, so... Madman, see through. Madman lime is very, very, very sweet. Yeah, I know, Kevin. The Madmans are all really nice. Uh, the the watermelon was nice too. I've got them from Canada, from a direct rip. But I sent it her uh, the armadillo too to uh, promote it, and she posted one picture from it, and that was it. And she got three armadillos, and she's only posted it once oh. on, her, on her Instagram. So I wasn't happy about that one. <laughs> no. No, and I sent her a message, please post some more, and she said, yeah, I'm going to do it, but uh, she still didn't do anything. Oh. So, yeah. That's not nice. I know. <laughs> but she sent me all the Madman liquids. <laughs> and, nah. I, and I sent them out also uh, to, all, to everybody, so <laughs> I only kept uh, watermelon, because I really like the watermelon. I've not tried the watermelon yet. That's a really good one. Ooh, this is a good one. Nasty salt, 20 milligrams. The Hippie Trail Lemon Lime. Lemon Lime, really nice. Hmm. No, never used Nasties. Not yet. No. I will do once again in that wee box. Yeah, I mean, I didn't <coughs> use them either, but I love if you'd like to see this box. Watch the box. A box, a box full of nasty and kilo. <laughs> so, <laughs> still have to try them all, and I had to do a review from them. So, see, that's the difference between me and you. You review just as I don't. Yeah, I review everything I've got. No, and I, I would just be mentioning them mm -hmm. while you are done with Zaps juice when you send them to me. Yeah. I like reviewing juices actually. Because I always, most of the time I review juices without tasting them in front. So, I taste them for the first time in my review. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I taste them on a dripper or like now on a, on a pot system and I just pull in, in, in the review and then I say what I think about it. And if it's bad, you see it on my face. <laughs> so... That's, that, those are the most honest reviews. My, my my juice reviews are the most honest reviews. <laughs> you see it on my face when I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be damaging juice reviews. No, uh, I like it actually. It's because the the last two expos I didn't go to the juices and I didn't try all the juices. But before I went to the expos with uh, with Yerun from uh, the wholesale. And it made me taste every juice in the expo. You really made it me taste <coughs> every juice. So it was a whole day of tasting juice till I couldn't taste anything anymore. <laughs> and I came back with a whole suitcase full of juices. So, but uh, no, one thing I've never done is went to the juice stalls. I'm going to move my camera back down. No, uh, the, the last. The last two uh, expos I didn't do that because I was alone, but before I always had to taste every juice and it was too much. <laughs> it was too much. And at the end yeah. of the day you can't taste anything anymore, so. I think in October when I go to the expo, I'm going to actually go to every stall, apart from one. What? One stall I won't go to. What? what you won't go? Evolution. Evolution, why? Because May last year, yeah. when I went to try and buy a my pod, they wouldn't take my notes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you're not getting my custom again. 
<laughs> I'm not sure I'm can, I can go to uh, in October. Um, oh. I don't know, it depends how it goes uh, at work. So at the moment it isn't that good. So I'm I'm home for a month now. My boss isn't that happy. <laughs> <laughs> so I will see what I'm doing. If I find the money, I will go. But I hope my armadillo starts selling again. <laughs> then I will go. <laughs> yeah. Mm. My hotel is booked and paid for, so... I'm not sure yet. All I need is money for fuel mm. and money for alcohol, and that's me. <laughs> I don't have to buy anything. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I, I want to go. I, I won't... I won't... I, I won't miss any expo in, the, in uh, Birmingham, but I'm not sure. It's always last minute, so... I can't say it in front. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and on Wednesday I'm gonna have my first guest on my vlog. That's gonna be special. <laughs> I don't see the point of doing that though. Why? Because if you're having a guest, you have them on a show. Yeah. Where a vlog is more a personal connection between you and your followers. Yeah, yeah I know, but my last vlogs were all too short and I didn't I don't have that much fake mail and I didn't know what to say and my 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 followers don't ask a lot of questions so and and this one is yeah, it's it's one it's a uh, one from Holland a Dutchman and it's it's you can do the vlog in Dutch and he and he's really a really interesting person he can he, he has a lot to say and yeah I think it's gonna be a good vlog then, and it's I think my vlog is gonna take over two hours. I think on Wednesday, because he's he's, he's really talkative, and <laughs> if we if we we, we uh, sometimes we uh, video chat with each other, and all all the time if we video chat, it's two three hours we're chatting, and we have to say, oh come, we have to stop because we have to do something else now. <laughs> we don't stop talking, so I think I wanted him on. I wanted him on it, on it today, but he couldn't. He had to do something with the family, so I asked him for Wednesday, and he said, "Okay, we do that." So it's gonna be good, and he and he can promote his new uh, his new brand he's gonna bring out. So and 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 probably we're gonna do something together and so, and stuff, so we can talk about that. So it's yeah. I, I think it's gonna be a really good vlog on Wednesday. So I'm looking for John, what's with all the message attraction? That's twice. Yeah. We've done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my vlog stopped for a sec. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, what? My, my stream starts. stopped for a second. <laughs> it's the first oh, time. Still going. Yeah, I know, but. It was thinking for a second. <laughs> it's the first <laughs> time in a, in oh, in an hour and a half. Uh, but it's the first time my vlog my, my stream is going this well. The cable helps. <laughs> no. no, so <clears throat> oh, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm, I'm out no. Of, uh, I think we've said everything said. Yeah. I'm starting to get tired again, so... <laughs> yeah, it's this heat over here. It makes you feel tired when you do go to sleep. Yeah. You're waking up because you're too hot. Yeah, and I didn't sleep a lot this night. So I went to bed pretty late. I, w I was lying... Uh, I, w I couldn't sleep till at around 3 o'clock because of the noise outside. And I had to get up at 8. So I'm starting to get really tired. It's gotta be. It's it's going to be good for me that I that I don't have to work for uh, three week, for a month actually because I don't have to work for three weeks and then I go to Spain for two, for ten days so it's going to be good <laughs> for me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my trip to Spain. <laughs> Doing nothing and just drinking. But <laughs> well, that's all you do anyway. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, no. On holiday, I'm start drinking in the morning. I wake up, I go to breakfast, I eat my breakfast, and I start drinking. <laughs> Till I go to sleep. I start drinking cocktails. 
I go to an all-in hotel so I can drink all day no expensive <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that drinking all day <laughs> the only time I drink two days in a row is when I'm at Expo and that's the thing at Expo I don't drink a lot I only drank at Expo a lot on Friday when I came to the hotel with you <laughs> then I drank a lot and I had to go home because I was too wasted <laughs> On the Saturday I got totally wasted. No. I started on the vodka. No. Um, also I was doing the shots. Nice. But my, prob my problem is I had to go back to the hotel. <laughs> and I always <laughs> stay at the Arden. So. And at the Arden I don't drink that much. Because it costs, so, it costs me too much. <laughs> the, the last time I spent 600 pounds. <laughs> a lot of money for three days yeah I think I spent about 150 that's okay just on drink uh, no but I when I go to expo I eat like a king <laughs> I go to the restaurant <laughs> every day and I take the best meal in the restaurant and I take steak and I take <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm the same <laughs> yeah. when I go to expo I go like a king and I take everything I want and I drink everything I want I eat everything I want so Expo is always expensive <laughs> so that's a problem like yeah but you should be the same as me and you pay for your breakfast and meal um, in your room uh, so you're uh, not paying for them separate I, I, I only pay uh, my bus pays for my hotel and it pays for my uh, for my flight and I pay for the uh, for the breakfast I pay for the for the meal and I pay for my all my drinks and that costs me a lot of money so yeah but can you not upgrade your room to um, include meals no uh, do they not do that no no you can I, you can do that but I pay that for myself my bus pays the hotel room and that's it I don't want uh, him to pay too much for it. So no, no. See, once you get there and you book in, you should ask him if you can upgrade it to include breakfast and evening meal. No, only because that will work out cheaper uh, no, in I, the long run. I only include. I only pay for breakfast in front, and I never pay for meal in front because I always want to eat in uh, the restaurant. And yeah, but the restaurant will be part of your hotel. Yeah, I don't know if that goes in the Arden. Yeah, it should be, because yeah. it's built into it, so it'll be the same. It's like the Premier Inn. Uh, uh, the restaurant's part of the Premier Inn, but it's also just a restaurant. Yeah, oh no, no, okay. Yeah, that's the same in the Arden. It's just a restaurant, but I always pay for my dinner there, in the restaurant myself. So. Now, see, when you go in, you should but say to them, look, I want to upgrade it to include even the meal as well. How much extra is that going to be? And, and you'll you find it will work out cheaper than actually paying for the meal and can separate. You, and can you eat a steak every time then? Yes. Yeah? You can have anything on the menu. Oh, got to look at that then. No, maybe next time I've, I'm, I'm going to gonna try and see to do that then because it's really expensive to eat in the yard and every day. <laughs> and, and last time I was there for five days, eh? the last expo, I was there from Yeah, Thursday so was I. Yeah, Thursday like to at the Premier Inn, if you get all the, your room, the breakfast and the evening meal, with the evening meal you get a free drink, or a drink included, yeah. you get your main course and then you get a choice of starter or dessert. And I think it's, is it £25 a day for your breakfast and evening meal? That's and the breakfast is eat as much as you want, drink as much yeah, that, tea, coffee, um, in, in the Arden the breakfast is ten, ten pounds a day, I think in the Arden for breakfast only, ten pounds a day, I think, Yeah. something like that. And in the evening, most of the time I pay around £40 for my meal. <laughs> That's what I mean, so if you can get that included and yeah. with your breakfast it would be cheaper. Oh. Hmm. Let me see. I'm going to look at that next time. <laughs> and, uh, I'll have a look for you to see if you can. Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> if you can't then you'll just have to come over to the Premier Inn. 
but I don't want to go to the premier and it's too, it's too busy for me. <laughs> uh, that's why I like the Arden. It's a quiet hotel. It's it's always it's not too busy. The, in the restaurant, it's always quiet. I'm sitting alone on my table. Only three or four tables are filled in the restaurant. So I, that's why I like the Arden. It's not so, uh, when I, I when I, I went to the Premier Inn on Friday. It was too busy for me. Really too busy. I don't like it like that. I, I, yeah, in October is going to be worse on the Saturday. Because apparently shares playing at the NEC Saturday night. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, so, that so, every hotel's got to be packed. Okay. All right, my team is winning with four-one. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Oh. Well. I have to go to the bathroom, but it's still 20 minutes and I don't want to get out. <laughs> and, I, and I really don't know what to talk about anymore. You're not going to empty juice bottle? Nah, I'm not going to do it in an empty juice bottle. <laughs> I take it your cafe bags full. Uh, I've got... <laughs> I've got something for my petrol. Uh, uh, how do you call it? Where, you, where the petrol is in it for the, my my uh, a petrol can. Yeah, a petrol can. I've got a here. I've got two here, where I do my uh, thing in it, but they're almost full now. <laughs> Shocking. Uh huh. Shocking. See, I'm not too bad, ma. Lavatory toilet is the next room for where I am. I have to go down, so I don't <laughs> want to do that. I really don't want to do that at the moment. <laughs> uh, come on people, ask some questions because I'm starting to get bored and I'm starting to get tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark always wants to go the full two hours, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. The show is a two hour long show, so we go for two hours. Yeah, I know, but it's like my vlog. When I'm tired of it, I just shut it down. <laughs> Sometimes my vlog is two hours, sometimes my vlog is 15 minutes. That's me. <laughs> That's me going yeah. live. That's why me and my band, it yeah. goes for however long it goes for. Yeah, but like this, the show, if we, we don't know what to talk about, what have the people listen to then? <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm thinking then. So I'm still what you know what John's messages were. Yeah. That he waited. But he doesn't answer it, so... No, he's awfully quiet tonight for some reason. Yeah, everybody's quite pretty quiet. Only Kevin is posting me from the, from my football. <laughs> I've got four watching. You've got nine. Okay, that's not a lot this time. I know. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. And and then I'm watching my show, and you're watching my show. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so there's two on each. No, I'm not watching yours. Are you not on mine? No, I'm not on yours because I can't, on my laptop, I can't watch two shows at the same time. Ah. That's a problem on the laptop, so I only have mine, mine open so I can see if it works or not. <laughs> so, you've got three people watching and I've got seven people watching. <laughs> That's only ten for the show. That's not a lot. Right. Pee Wee's asking, have you guys tried Flash Vapors? VEF 4.5 or clones of it right, right, or flash e-vapor tanks no never tried never them. heard of them no never tried them <coughs> I never <coughs> heard of them either that's a problem no. that's a problem in Belgium at the moment there's so little that you can buy in Belgium and so I'm not really following everything at the moment because if I'm following everything, I'm just get, mm, I'm get I just get frustrated. Uh, I want to <laughs> sell so much in the shop and I can't, so it's frustrating. Uh, last, uh, it was a long time ago, but um, yesterday or the day, be no, the day before, I, I watched a, a full vlog from uh, the the vaping biker. It was a long time ago I was uh, watching a live show from the beginning till the end. 
and uh, it was from the vaping bike that uh, he was saying he was uh, tired of uh, all the vaping and everything and he was he was uh, going to do a lot less of um, reviews because uh, he thought he, he, he said uh, that in 2019 nothing special came out and every company starts co coming out with the same thing and he was tired of doing all the reviews about that so it was interesting so I, I kept watching it so wait there this company's not brought nothing new out this year alone there has been squonkers come out it's automatic squonking yeah there's two that I know of yeah the IPV and the XX, the EXX Mini. Mm -hmm. the, um, the XX. So that's something new that's come out this year. That's true, but uh, I'm not really impressed about uh, automatic squonking because when I'm vaping on the SX uh, X class, when you're vaping it, now I've got some uh, in my armadillo on the SX Mini, I've got some uh, mounted long cores and I'm vaping it on on 30 watts and then you can follow it you can follow it with automatic squonking but when I'm putting normal cores in it and I'm vaping it on my normal 105 watts it can't follow it up I'm always putting mm -hmm. it dry so I'm not really impressed yet about uh, automatic squonking and it makes too much noise <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Dimmy likes the quiet yeah, I like the quiet. That's right. I'm always si a year ago. I was always sitting in my cave with music on it. I was really into vinyl, and I was always playing music on my ca in my cave. But the last year, I didn't put any music on anymore. I'm always sitting in my cave, quiet. Everything is quiet. Working on my computer, no music on. Just doing my thing with no noise around me. Mm. Yeah, I'm starting to be a boring old boy, a boring old man. <laughs> John's asking, are you still enjoying the Caliburn? I'm really enjoying the Caliburn and I'm really <coughs> using it almost every day. I don't know where it's at the moment, <laughs> where it is at the moment, but I was using That's it. one that I never got in. Uh, that's I, why he's not asking me. Uh, that, <laughs> that's, that's the, the Caliburn it's one of the only things I bought this year because I really loved it when I tried it from somebody and yeah still loving it it's a really good one oh, what's this no it's not a Caliborn I'm yeah John I'm feeling the same way with this heat yeah if you wait until the review for the I can't even remember what this oh it was the top side Joe <laughs> yeah, I've got the, I've Just wait for red patches on my t-shirt with sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the same thing. I'm not feeling well either, so that's why I'm staying home for three weeks now. I've got some. You know what the problem is, and I'm, I'm really fighting, with, uh, fighting with myself. So, oh, Christoph, good evening. You're pretty late. <laughs> Ten minutes before time. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite mods? Kevin is asking what what our what our favorite mods are. Hmm. Favorite mods? Um, it's hard to say. I've got one. I still I, I'm using from the day I've got it, and I'm still using it really, really regularly. It's my battle star from Small Ants. I can't get it broke. It's it's falling. It, it's it looks like <laughs> like shit already <laughs> <laughs> but it still works great and i really love it it fires great it's one of my favorite mods really one of my favorites i like the hammer of god why i don't know why but i really like the hammer of god because of its power and i like the small and sharon mini i really like that one it's two small ones already <laughs> I'm using that a lot and if I'm looking in the back I, I like the Dovpo MVV but that's a long time ago since I use it because Dovpo doesn't react on my uh, on my mails anymore so I don't use it. See they bring you the MVV too? 
Yeah. Problem is, Duffbot doesn't react on my uh, chats anymore. Before I had a really good contact with Duffbo and suddenly he doesn't react anymore. And, uh, and when and when I uh, met him again at the expo, he was really acting strange. Really acting strange. So who is it? It's uh, Duffbo's. I don't know how how he called anymore. I always was chatting with him with, through Instagram, but I don't know why. But he was really acting strange lately, and he and he doesn't and he didn't want to send me the duel anymore. The last mod they sent it me was the the top side single, and they didn't send me the duel anymore. And since then he doesn't react on anything anymore, and he was doing strange on the expo. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. See, I got the double single at expo last October. Yeah, he sent it. To, he sent it to me, and that was the last month he sent it. And I don't know mm -hmm. why he's acting so strange because I didn't do anything wrong. I, I always used Duffbo mods, and I was always telling that I love them. And suddenly he didn't want to. Yeah, he suddenly didn't want strange. to. Strange. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But man, you saying that I've had companies like that as well. Yeah, it's, same, um, it's the same with Brinko. I, I, I asked them why, I, I told them that the, the, the Manto S was died and suddenly they banned me on their uh, Facebook group and they don't answer me any questions anymore. It's since Nicole left there, none of them answer me anymore, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's what usually happens. That happened to me with Aptio. Yeah. I was getting all the stuff that they were coming out with. Um, the person that was dealing with, he left yeah. and that was it, everything just stopped. The, the only company that still sends me everything is Smoant and I don't have to ask them, I don't chat with them anymore, they just sent me everything they got new and the one I was chatting with, they, she left, she went to Rinko and then Rinko started sending and Rinko now stopped and yeah I don't know, Smoant is the only company it's really, and OBS, OBS also, if I ask uh, Joey from OBS if something new comes out, she sends me, and for all the rest, I still have to chat and ask and talk with them, and yeah. But but I stop begging. Mm. I, I I never beg anymore. I just send them a message. Hey, you've got something new. Can I can I try and can I test it? And if they the answer, it's okay. If they don't answer, yeah, it's like that. It's uh, the last few months. I'm yeah. So so my reviews are. Before I almost did a review every day, and now I do a review every two weeks or so. So I think <coughs> it's something about that. <laughs> nah, uh, I don't go begging. I've never begged. No, begging. And I never will. Begging is a big word. I asked for it. I never beg. I asked for it. And if I, if even I, asking for stuff, I've never done that. No, I, I ask some. Sometimes, if something comes out and I really like it and I really want to try it, I ask for it. It's the same with the new, uh, the new uh, Keys uh, MTL RTA, the Aladdin M uh, MTL. Uh, normally Keys always sends me, and I saw Jim, Jim uh, that comes in chat so regularly. He got, he already got it, and I just sent it uh, uh, a message to Vivian from uh, Keys. So why did I? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna send it. So it's on his way, she said, and they're gonna send me something <laughs> else, but. I don't know what it was anymore. It's, they they asked they asked. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you something. If you know what it means, wait. Uh, let me see on the phone. Yeah, you should maybe try asking some of the companies if they want to be a sponsor for the show. Ah, uh, sometimes I, I ask them, but <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> uh, oh, do you know what an OCC tank is? An OCC? Yeah. She she asked me, do you also use OCC tank? What company is that? Uh, Keys. 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 Yeah, they, uh, she asked me, yes you can, so she's gonna send me the Aladdin and then she asked me, do you also s use OCC tank? But I don't know what an OCC tank is. Does anybody in chat know what an OCC tank is? <laughs> I would say it's something to do with ceramic coils. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. 
<clears throat> Are you done a search for it? Not yet, but she sent it me yesterday night, so I didn't have time today because today I had to work this morning and my, my sons were going uh, home again after two weeks and my little boy, the my, the my little one, I didn't give him enough attention last week because I was, yeah, I wasn't feeling well and he was always asking me to play a game with him and everything and I was, wasn't feeling well so I, I didn't give him enough attention so today I took him with me to the shop and uh, I was busy all day with giving my little son attention because he, re he really looks up to me and he really always says he wants to come live with his dad. He doesn't want to live with his mom anymore and he wants to live with the dad so today it was... Yeah. All OCC yeah. is a yeah. stock coil. Stock coil, oh yeah. Yeah. Organic, what are they classing it as? Organic cotton coil. Oh. Which is a standard coil. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was also see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I know what she meant, so I can ask, I can answer the <coughs> question tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, DJ, DJ is asking which, which mods uh, are you recommending at the moment? From new mods. Hmm. <laughs> Depends what you're wanting. Single, dual, eighteen six fifty twenty one seven hundred. If 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 they ask me in the shop in Belgium what we can sell, I still say the the Sharon Mini from Small Ends. It's a small, it's a small dual uh, dual battery device. Fires really nice. Nice menu. Works really nice. No issues with it. Sold a lot in my shop and none came back with issues. So. I really recommend that one. I, I, I've got all the mods from Small Ant in the shop and I always recommend Small Ant because actually with none of my Small Ant mods ever died on me. None of them and I've got them all. Since the Battlestar Small Ant sends me all their mods and I always got them before production so I've always got uh, the, one of the first from uh, the, the first mod that came out from Small Ant and they never died on me, so I always recommend small end mods. I really like small end, and I say it a lot, but I'm really a fan of small end. So that's a company you should try and push to be a sponsor of. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I, I'm I'm scared to send them too many too mu too much messages or ask them too much because they send them me always everything without me asking. So <laughs> yeah, but. You just have to say, um, I do a live show, how would you like to be a sponsor on the show and get your logo and adverts etc put on the show. Mm, maybe I have to do that because I really advert them a lot, small ones, and I really talk a lot, talk about them a lot in my vlogs and talk about them a lot in the show and I'm in the shop I'm always recommend them so. Alright Kevin, bye Kevin, <coughs> see you next time. Um, for me the best mod to recommend that I use all the time is the I stick V sticking VK5 Thera. I don't have that one. I don't and I don't have that one because of the joystick. I don't really like a joystick. <laughs> it's a Yeehi board. Yeah, I know and I, actually I'm not such a big fan of the Yeehi. I am. No. I, I prefer them to DNA. My, my, my problem with the Yeehy is it sucks too much of the battery. Um, no, it. not really. No, uh, like the Yeehy, the, the small, the, the small, oh, I can't remember the name. Um, the single battery from the, from the Yeehy chip, it's, it's, it drains the battery so fast. That's my problem with it, so. No, um, well, I've only got what one, two, three. No, I've only got three with Yeehy chips. My G class, their pod kit, and the ice thicken. Mm. But I still prefer the chips to DNAs. Yeah, I only got one DNA, so I don't. I don't. Yeah, DNA, it's not so special for me. No. Nah. Mm. 
Yeah, you will and sm smoke mods all all all, all uh, DJ says uh, smoke mods all all died in five months. Yeah, that's smoke. Yeah. Then you're, then you're lucky you get them for five months. Most of them die in two months. <laughs> ah, it's ten o'clock, man. Man, <laughs> Julian, Shinna, I've still got my alien. I've got. I still got my one alien. Yeah one alien but I've got two aliens died on me and I never used the alien so that's why he still lives <laughs> yeah that's right mine uh, uh, I've got some aliens I've got uh, GX, uh, the, the, the GX24 I've got uh, one with the four batteries I've got uh, oh, the maybe I've not got it maybe I've given it away because I can't see the box for it mm. I've got one two three four five six Smart mods, and they all then they don't die on me, but I don't use them, so <laughs> that's why they don't die on me. <laughs> yeah. But no, I've never actually had a mod die. The only thing I've had die on me uh, is a MyPod, because uh, that's my second one. The, the worst mod I ever got was this one. The I've had mods come in dead, or. I think it's dead, I've never tried it. The, the worst mod I've ever got was this one. The Wismac, uh, what's it, the Rollo or something, the, with the two batteries, with a, yeah. tw tw with a tw 2700 battery. I used it once, once, and it died on me. <laughs> really, once. I used it one day, second day it wouldn't start anymore. <laughs> that was the worst mod I ever had. <coughs> All right. Yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, died on me in one day. <coughs> Is it this one? Let me try to see if I can see a name on it. Designed by Jibo. Yeah, Jibo. Yep. I've got a nice Jibo. Uh, I've got one signed by Jibo. Wait. If I can get it. Uh. <coughs> yeah. This is the most special I've got from Wismic. it I don't know if you can see it. It's signed by Jabo. Yeah. I've got it from Expo. He signed it for me. That's the <laughs> most special mod I've got. No. All right. It's 10 o'clock. I'm still, I'm going to wrap it up because I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. And I'm gonna sit some, a little bit with the wife. <laughs> yeah, I've been a bad boy too much lately, so Ugh. it's time to see. It's really died on me. <laughs> no. All right. I've still got my bag to pack for work in the morning. Uh. Um, my work clothes are still drying, I think. <laughs> so I have to check them, make sure they're dry. Get them put away. Uh, well, oh, and I've still got my review to edit. Okay. No, I have I'm to do all that and another. I'm not going to do anything anymore tonight. I'm just going to wrap it up. <laughs> I'm just going to drink up my port and I'm going down. <laughs> uh, that's it. No, right. I'll get the review edited and then I'll well, so save on the computer. I'll get the quiz checked. And then I'll well it's post or uploading to YouTube. I will get my bad done. Uh, I, I stopped editing my reviews for a moment because my last review, the from the armadillo, it took one hour and sixty minutes after editing. <laughs> but I, it took six hour no t nine hours to edit. Nine. Nine hours before it oh. was edited and uploaded it and everything. So, um, 
it's too much work for me at the moment. No, my edits usually take about an hour just yeah. to edit it yeah. and save the file. That's and then be, obviously by the time I upload it to YouTube and post it on my Patreon, yeah, okay, it was about another 20 minutes. Yeah, the, oh no, my uploading takes most of the time, takes two hours or something. <laughs> it shouldn't know that you're on cable. I hope so. It uh, shouldn't. Yeah, but I'm not always going to be on cable because now the cable is just lying uh, through the to the separate uh, hallway with in the, the, to the uh, on the stairs, just on the ground, everything, <laughs> so everybody can fall over the the wire. So I still have to get attached to the wall. Yeah, I've got. It. I've got it attached to the wall and it got it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. So I wanted to do it through the window outside, but it's not good for the wire. So why? I don't know. Is, I don't know. Is it good for a wire for a lamp wire to to hang outside? As long as it's got the plastic casing all the way around it and there's no breakage breakage on it, it should yeah. be fine. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. It may discolor, but that's about it. As long as there's not a break in it. Oh. The water shouldn't get into it. Then I'm going to try that uh, one of, one of these days because I've got a hole in the in the wall in the back of my cave here that goes down and a hole in the wall uh, in the in the living room. So maybe I can pull the wire through there. I'm going to try that then. But that's something I've got to do in the next three weeks when I've got time. <laughs> well, mind and pass it down the way and don't try and take it up the way. Uh, down, yeah, going down from here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, but I've, I've got, the, the problem is the hole in the wall in the living room is uh, pretty high and I've got to take uh, a, a ladder or something and I have to uh, get onto the, on the roof and that's a lot of work, so I don't know when I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a lazy one, I know. Yeah, right, so that's about 10 past. Yeah. So you've seen your trios. Yeah, we did it. We made it. So, <laughs> okay, I'm going to say my goodbyes. People, it was nice having you all here. Uh, we had a lot to talk about today. <laughs> it was nice to have Jules in again. And see you all Wednesday or next week on the show. Mark, you can do the finishing like always. <laughs> Right guys, so thanks a lot for coming along and chatting, and thanks to Jules for coming in for the hour and liven up the show a wee bit, makes a wee change for us, and, and as always, if it wasn't for you coming and chat, there'd be no point us doing this live for you. Yeah. And so a big thanks to you. I'll have my banter on Friday, and the show on Sunday. Hopefully, we'll have a guest for Sunday, Demi. Yeah, yeah, it's always me <laughs> it's trying to get a guest. <laughs> I know. I've got a guest on Wednesday, so everybody come in on Wednesday on my live chat. It's going to be a really, really interesting live on but Wednesday. But that's not an English. No. Nah. English folks can't understand this. Yeah, they have to learn in, uh, Dutch then. And, <laughs> and, and if they come into the show, we will talk some. English too because my guest is good in English too so no problem if you've got English <laughs> questions we will answer no problem all come and see on Wednesday that's what I've got to say bye hey guys so thanks again for coming along as always stay safe and bye just now <laughs>